you never done it before. Hey, Lisa, take a look at this. What do you make of it? Looks like blood. Or something. I don't know. I never saw purple blood before. Yeah, well, this whole crime scene is one big mystery now, ain't it? Did the examiners find any other possessions? Just this. It was lying next to the suspected mugger. Definitely wasn't his. Probably robbed it off some poor fool earlier tonight. Henry Howard. Who the hell is this? It's me. But I bet we're gonna find out soon enough. in my life I've spent on this damn experiment and I have nothing to show for it. Sure nothing has come of this? Earth to Hank. Please come in. I'm sorry, did you say something? World could explode around you. You would not have a clue whatsoever. Look, I just can't understand why the serum keeps turning blue. Did you try it on Billy? Every time the serum turns blue, nothing ever happens to the rat. So it's about the color then? Well, I can't say for sure I don't have the appropriate data to corroborate the research. Like four years and nothing solid. There you go again, assuming that nothing good has come of this. Just give me one good outcome. Let's see. How about Hannah? The girl with a great personality and the great assets to match? Well, obviously, but you know what I mean. She's the best thing that's happened in these past four years, my friend. 
Yeah, well, outside these walls, she's the best thing that happened to me, period. You need to keep your head out of your ass long enough. Ask that girl to marry you. You're actually gonna ask her? I decided to take the traditional approach and ask her father first. You think the general's gonna give her away freely? I don't know what he's gonna say. I just hope he keeps our professional relationship out of it. But look, our time here is running out. I mean, General Darwin has been more than gracious with our setbacks, and I'm not sure he will be for very much longer. He should understand it can't happen overnight. This is harder than rocket science. Look, I'm not a fool. I knew this would be complicated. I mean, a serum to enhance the human body, heightening the immune system, increasing speed and strength. I mean, do you realize how long a human would live if we could perfect this serum? I'm well aware of the positive contributions this would make. It just takes time. We're dabbling in God's backyard. Damn it, I'm sick of failure. Wait, wait a minute, wait a minute. Tim is at 235 before him. Maybe Billy 237 will be lucky. Now, there's a sight for sore eyes. Hi, Sam. Darling, why didn't you call me? Well, what kind of a surprise would that have been if you knew if I was coming? I'm happy to see you. Stressful day? Brutal. Right. Oh, no. I'm sorry. Billy? 234 or 235? 236. Oh. Hey. Come on, it's not even noon and already you're in a bad mood. Sam, I'm taking him to lunch. I'll bring him back soon. Take your time. When he's gone, I get to goof off. Look, I'm sorry about earlier. Uh, I'm just upset about all these failed experiments. No shop talk. This is our time. Deal. Well, I haven't seen your father in a while, so it'll be good to catch up. Oh, he's anxious to hear how all your research is going. You said no shop talk. So I did. <sighs> okay, that's enough. I promise. Okay. Yeah. Penny, for your thoughts? Um... Remember when we spoke of having children? Of course, when we're married. You do still want children, don't you? <laughs> Are you trying to tell me something? I'm not pregnant. Oh. Wow. That look clearly tells me that you aren't ready. No, no, that's not it at all. I do want children. I know. The experiment. Seems we can't get away from shop talk, doesn't it? Look, the time will be right, okay? I promise you that. You'll have a dozen children. <laughs> A dozen. Okay. And do you plan on carrying all of them? <laughs> we just can't have rats for pets. Okay. <laughs> Look, I promise I'm going to make you the happiest woman in the world. Just don't give up on me. I promise. Think I was kidding? How was lunch? Well, we took a walk through the park. And? And she brought up having children again. What'd you say this time? Well, I told her the truth. I think I might be finally ready. That's great. Now all you have to do is get approval of marriage from the father. I plan on asking him tonight before dinner. Should we try it again? Maybe if. Give him some good news, it will soften the blow. Greetings, Billy number 237.
fingers crossed. Don't count backwards from ten. Just don't lose it, man. No more failures! Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Take this. Thank you. Maybe... Billy 238 will be the lucky one. Good evening, sir. General Darwin, I would love to marry your daughter. Wait, no, that's too quick. Uh, <clears throat> General Darwin, sir, I would be honored you would allow me your daughter's hand in marriage. No, it's a little better. Um. Oh, <laughs> don't you look stunning. Mm. Mm. Wow, this is how you greet the mailman. Have you seen my mailman? I would take black enough for me to kiss that frog. Oh, it's for you. He's in some water. It's okay. Mm -hmm. I need to talk to your father. About what? Huh? The experiment. Uh, yeah, yeah, I man. There's some new data I want to tell him about. Shall we go inside? I hate dust. I don't want it building up in my home. Hi, Daddy. You let dust build up, and before you know it, you've got an army of dust bunnies plotting to take over. <laughs> Beautiful flowers. Where did you get those from? Our garden? No, Daddy. Hank brought them. I'm going to put them in some water. I'll be back in uh, General Darwin, sir, I need to speak to you about something that's very... Making progress on the experiment, are we? Actually, no, it's not about the experiment. It's about the... Wait. Don't speak. There could be spies listening. Let's go somewhere private. Follow me. Right, sir. And I'll have Scotty beam us up to the Enterprise. Want a drink? No, thanks. I need results, Hank. Stop stalling. Well, like I said, sir, the experiment's going fine. I'd like to talk about Hannah. What about her? Well, I... So what about... I want to marry her. You knock up my little girl, is that it, huh? Of course not. Then why? What's the reason, pissant? I love her, okay? That's why. I love her. Not a bad answer. That's no surprise, though, you being a scientist and all. So do I have your blessing? You think I want a deadbeat son-in-law? Negative. The government will stop funding this project unless you start showing some goddamn results. And until I see some, I sure as hell ain't gonna let you marry my daughter. Got it? Oh, so this is where you two have been hiding. And I'm leaving. What? We haven't even had dinner yet. Look, I'll explain later, okay? Unless your father wants to do the honors. Waiting for you. Ah. 
box have you been warned of? What? This table has been in my family for hundreds and hundreds of years. How many times have I told you not to keep your cosmetics on it? Move all your, your goop, your paint, Schnell! But Bumblebee, I'm bored. <clears throat> you should know that does not work on me. Oh, that's right. I forgot. There's nothing going on downstairs. You know better than to start with that. Oh, Pookie, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to hurt your feelings. And how many times must I tell you not to gyrate in front of the gods? You know that is a big no-no with me. Oops. <laughs> hmm. Is there something amusing? Hmm. Well, no, Dr. Kaz love. I mean, God love, sir. Do golf. Ah, so you like to make funny gesture when I'm not looking, do you? I don't know what you're talking about, sir. the doll's word over me, sir? the button and get what you want. <laughs> Oh, 
and blow up another one for me? No. Please. Oh, well. All right. <laughs> Listen, Hannah, um, there's something I've been meaning to ask you. What is it? <laughs> well, uh, will you? Oh my God, <laughs> Hank, a roller coaster. Come on, we gotta go, <laughs> come on. Oh my God, I'm so scared. Yeah, something tells me I'm gonna regret eating that chili dog. <laughs> what were you gonna ask me before? Not now, I'll ask you later. Okay. Okay, here we go. over the past four years, and, uh... Yes? Well, uh... Hey, look out! You move a muscle, and you let the girl die. Hank, do what he says. Yeah, Hank. Do what the little lady says, huh? Look, there's money in my wallet. Just take it and leave. Ooh! How lucky that I ran into you tonight. Nice earrings, sweet thing. Why don't you give them to me before I rattle your ears? <gasps> give it to him. <laughs> okay, look, you got what you wanted, now leave, won't you? Oh, Hank. Now, I don't think you're in any position to tell me what to do. Let's see what else you got. drive us some documents on the experiment, okay? It was top secret stuff. I mean, if it fell in the wrong hands, there's no telling what could happen. I'll last you. Well, I doubt that the mugger would find that very useful. I'd be surprised if the creep could actually read. Look, I overreacted. It was stupid, I know. Yeah. I'm just God. glad you didn't get yourself killed. Yeah.
Look, I'll call you tomorrow, all right? Sure. Whenever you get up. No, you might want to sleep in after what happened tonight. No, sleep can wait. I've got to put in some hours at the lab. What? Babe, you got to get some rest. Your health is more important than this stupid experiment. Your father told me the government was threatening to stop funding the experiment. If I don't show him results, it's over. So that's why you've been so moody lately. Look, it means a great deal to me and your father. Why can't you see that? Fine. You know what? Go to the lab. Do whatever you want. I'm out of here. Hannah, wait. Results. Results I shall give him. Purple. It's unusual. Well, maybe it could work. so tough without your gun now, are you, buddy? I gotta get out of here. Whistle ring, you bastard. Here it is.
there, there. What do we have here? Tell me, where did you two gentlemen find this? Oh, uh, well, you see, we're taking care of business downtown. Please, 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 gentlemen, one at a time. We were in the city dealing, and we ran into an old chum of yours, Scully. Ah, Scully. It seems to me Scully owes me a good deal of green. Um, uh, yes, sir. And then... Wait! I wasn't done telling the story. Hey, that's no fair. You never let me get into work in twice no more. What's up with that? Tough! Are you a piece of disease written flea bitten? That will do, gentlemen. Please continue. We were in the city. We met up with Scully. I told him he's got a debt and he's got to pay now. And then I asked him how he'd like to go swimming in the river with cement slippers. No, you didn't. I said that. Fine. Whatever. You said it. Are you happy? Yes. Yeah. Matter of fact. <sighs> so Scully got scared. Forked over the ring. End of story. Yes, I think my Lolita will like this very much. It will make a wonderful gift for her. There's just one more thing. Yes, boss? What was it you said again about taking a swim? <laughs> yeah, I, actually, I said that. I, I like how that sounded. Well, uh, thank you, Camp Love, sir. <clears throat> oh, I, I, I mean, uh, Camp Love. I liked it very much. I liked it so much. I was thinking maybe the two of you would like to go for a swim. So, get your swimming trunks on. Because you are both going for a little swim. <laughs> mm. That was a wild dream. Hello, anybody in there? Hold on, I'm coming. Oh, for Christ's sakes, this better be Ed McMahon with a fat check. Hey, what's going on in there? Is everything all right? I said, is everything all right? Who is it? Well, it ain't Ed McMahon. It's the police. Now, will you open while I'm still old? What's wrong? Open the door, will ya? Is this Henry? We found your wallet and came to return it. Okay, hold on a second. <coughs> so what do you want, anyway? Sorry. Did we wake ya? Yeah, it's all right. I overslept anyway. When were you born? He's just kidding around. <clears throat> Give him his wallet back, jeez. <sighs> well, <laughs> I thank you for uh, delivering this. Thought I'd never see it again. Where'd you find it? A better question is, how'd you lose it? Uh, actually, I was mugged last night. I see. Yeah, I was with my girlfriend, and uh, we were at the amusement park. Uh, then we caught the subway, and I. Guy popped out of nowhere and robbed us at gunpoint. Were either of you hurt? No, uh, actually we weren't. Um, I had my wallet taken and uh, my girlfriend's jewelry, that's about it. Did you file a report or anything? Well, no, I mean, it was late. We were tired, so I didn't really get a chance. I see. So where'd you find it? There was a double homicide last night, near the Plaza Theater. A prostitute and a criminal were found dead in an alleyway. Guess which one had your wallet? <laughs> um, you all right, kid? Something wrong? No, I'm fine. It's just a little weirded out, that's all. I mean, a guy robs me at gunpoint last night and kills a girl and dies all in one night. It's just a bit odd to me, that's all. Well, you've been through enough for the last 24 hours. You don't need us hassling you, I'm sure. Well, I'd like to personally thank you for bringing my wallet. I, I really appreciate it. Don't mention it. Take care. See you around, kid. Bye.
Okay, what gives? You haven't said a word since we talked to that Henry Howard guy. Whatever do you mean, my darling? Don't play coy with me, Garton. You got the look on your face. Yeah, what look you talking about? The look, when you know something that I don't. Oh yeah, that look. I believe I do know the one. Spill the beans, will ya? Or I'll be forced to resort to violence. I think our Henry murdered the mugger. What? You're kidding. That sweet man. He doesn't look capable of cheating on his income taxes. There are two pieces of evidence, my dear. Okay, I'm listening. How come our sweet and innocent Henry knew that the mugger killed a prostitute? Okay, what else? Spit it out, will ya? I didn't get this from the peanut butter and jelly sandwich I had for lunch today. What's that old saying? Oh yeah, that's right. The criminal always returns to the scene of the crime. Old saying is right and you should remember it too. I mean, you coined the phrase, didn't you? Or did you forget? Ah, uh, I guess that other old saying is true. The mind is the first thing to go. Hey, Tuttle, are we gonna trade insults or go bust this cretin? For once, I agree with you. I'll call for backup. Whoa, whoa, wait. It's not what it looks like. Like I said, they always come back to the scene of the crime. We're gonna have to take you down to the station. I don't think that'd be a good idea. You don't wanna do that. Closer. I need a better shot. Closer? Cut me out of your mind! I don't know what the hell that thing is down there, and I sure as hell don't want to find out! I'm telling you, you need to get closer. I don't have a shot. This could be our big ticket to bigger, better things. You know what I'm saying? Okay, I'll get a little closer. Just a little, though. Alright, you're not gonna regret this. I'm telling you, this could be our big shot, you know what I'm saying? A big payoff! <laughs>
Oh man, come on, get in there, get closer in there. This is gonna be the big ultimate death scene. You know what I'm saying? Oh, I'm not too sure about this. We're close enough already, aren't we? No, come on, get closer. You gotta get in there. This is the thing. I'm telling you, it's gonna be a payday for us. I can see the headlines now. It's gonna be super pilot and amazingly charming cameraman dancers at all. Get in there. You son of a bitch! Oh. Now for plan B. <sighs> I've lost track of time in this prison. Ten days could have passed, or ten years. I can't tell the difference. What have I done? What have I become? What kind of hideous creature have I unleashed under this world? It's all my fault. It's all my fault. I have no one else to blame but myself. Why did I have to be so foolish and inject myself with a serum? If it ever fell into the wrong hands, there's no telling what could happen. I'm sorry about your partner. I didn't mean to kill her or anybody else. It was an accident. An accident? An accident is wetting your bed. What you did is called murder. And the only just penalty in my personal courtroom is death. It was an accident. An experiment gone crazy. I don't know what you are, you sick son of a bitch. But you're gonna pay for what you did. I'm gonna make sure you rot in hell, freak! What are you gonna do now? Tough guy! Say goodnight. Darwin, what are you doing here? What's up, Doc? <laughs> What's going on? Don't worry about that now, Henry. Just go back to sleep. No, wait. You, you don't understand the, the serum. It turned me into a monster. Affirmative. You finally achieved the results we were looking for. I just destroyed the city and killed innocent people, and that's the result that you wanted? You're going to go under intense evaluation. We want to know everything about your condition. What, to cure me or turn me into a guinea pig? Answer me, goddammit! Do me a favor and make the Sam man pay him a visit. Right away, sir. Quick, give him the injection before he fully transforms. Step aside! <sighs> you almost had me there, soldier. But I was too fast for you. Sweet dreams, you purple pile of cow dung. It is so beautiful. This reminds me of our wedding day when I became Mrs. Kantler. Oh, more like can't dance. What was that? Nothing, nothing, my dear. <laughs> hey, I got an idea. Why don't we blow something up? My dear, you have just read my mind. I can't read, silly. You know that. I have. An important decision. What is it? I have decided not to blow up any more historical monuments or buildings. But why? I'm going to up the ante. I don't understand. I'm going to send a 
a Saturn V rocket and blow up the moon. You really could do that? It'll be a cakewalk. Don't you mean moonwalk? Zoom zoom to the moon. <laughs> something more important. Yeah, like what? You finally gave me the results I was after. You developed a serum to enhance a human, to make him more than human, superhuman. Good job. Well, if you're here to give me an award, do me a favor and shove it where the sun don't shine. As I was saying, you gave us the results, and it was necessary for us to study you. No one expected you to inject yourself with a serum. That was idiotic of you. Yeah, I agree. As much as I hate to, I agree with you on that. Look, I did it for Hannah. Like, I just wanted to prove I was successful and have your blessing to marry her. I understand. And that's why I grant you permission to take my daughter's hand in marriage. It's too late. I'm a monster. I can't conform to society because I know what it's like. I know what triggers the beast inside of me. It's the rage. But I'm sure you already knew that with all the tests you've given me. It is the rage that triggers it off. But during the test, we found an antidote. Then where is it? Give it to me already. Before we administer the antidote, there is something you must do for your country. What are you driving at? You're the only hope mankind has of surviving. So it'd be wise to get serious. Yeah, you sound so sincere. Yeah, like you're telling the truth. That honesty doesn't fit you. But you know what? I'm a nice guy. 
So I'm willing to hear you out. There is a madman by the name Dr. Kantlove. He's sending off missiles, blowing up monuments around the world. It's all over the news. We believe he is sending a rocket to the moon and plans to blow it up. We need you to become superhuman and destroy him. Me? How? We discovered where his base is. But we can't drop a bomb. His radar would pick us up and get us first. So we're sending you there alone to eliminate him. I'm not sure I can take another human life. You can kill innocent people, but you can't kill the enemy? Look, I didn't kill anybody. It's not my fault. <laughs> Hannah! Hannah, wait! <laughs> so do you accept the mission? Are you ready to save the world? Then screw the world. Yeah, the world could die and I wouldn't mind. Look, I'm doing this for two people, me and Hannah. And we will be together, and if it means me turning into this hideous beast once more, then I'm willing. Now, here's the game. You better pay close attention. We don't have enough clothes in your size. We're almost to the checkpoint. Any closer to town will pick me up on the radar. You know what to do, right? Yeah, I'm all set. Good luck, hey. Thanks. Okay, get ready to drop! Just a few more miles to Can't Love's hidden castle. I'm already one step closer to spending my life with Hannah. Okay, it's time to get angry. This isn't happening. Okay, it's time for the secret weapon. Where's it coming from? 
Ah, that's right. I killed them both. <laughs> than the time the flying saucer broke down and that little green alien came to the door asking to use the phone. Who turned out the lights? Bumblebee, where are you? I think I've gone blind. Is that you, baby? That's where you've been spending your free time. The gym. Mmm, my oh my. You've grown since the last time we played. This is historic. I've got to see for myself. What have you done to your face? I love it. Mother always said my temper would be the death of me. The last time I heard her say it was when I had a rocket delivered at her house for Mother's Day. <laughs> Do you read me? Look, I've eliminated Cutlove and his men. Now come and pick me up, will ya? Hey, what's going on? Fighter jets are shooting at me. Call them off! They must have me confused with the enemy! I'm afraid I wasn't telling the truth, Henry. There is no antidote. What do you mean? No cure that will bring you back to your former self. You see, the government stopped funding my project two years ago. So I looked elsewhere for funding. Dr. Ken Love was more than willing to dole out any amount of cash. He wanted the serum, he said, as a cure for his ED. He gave more than I could ever imagine. Now that you created the serum and proved it successful, I no longer needed his backing. So I had no choice other than to eliminate him. The government will probably give me an award for this. For creating an army of superhuman soldiers. You're crazy, you know that? You're sick! And now I shall eliminate you. You bastard!
Mission accomplished. Good job, soldier. Cupcake. What's wrong? How did you get in here? What happened? Did something happen to Hank? Honey, Hank knew he was risking his life when he agreed to this mission. He stopped Cantla. But I'm afraid he got himself killed in the process. He was a brave man. Never forget that. No. 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 your life. <laughs> I thought I lost you. Look, Hannah, there's something I've been wanting to tell you for a long time. Hannah, will you marry me? Yes. Oh, God, yes. Of course I'll marry you. Oh, <sighs> oh my God. We have to tell no, Daddy. No, 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 no. He can't know I'm here. What's wrong? Look, I know you're not going to believe me, but your dad tried to kill me. He thinks that he succeeded in that. My father? No. He would, he would never do such a thing. How can you say Look, that? Look, I'm sorry, but it's the truth whether you believe me or not. That's insane. You! It can't be! You're dead! Daddy! I'm going to kill you once and for all! Daddy, get off of him! Not before I kill you, old man! What are you doing? really good at talking to headstones. God, I miss you, Hank. You have no idea what I'd give to see your face just one more time. To talk with you and touch that face. All you ever wanted was for the two of us to just be together forever. And now you're gone. And my father's gone. And I'm alone. I need to say goodbye to you. That's why I came here. I really do love you, Hank. You want a drink? 
What? You don't like liquor? Well. Huh. Drink this. Thank you.